Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which checks if a binary tree is a subtree of another binary tree or not. First, let us take an example. A subtree of a tree T is a street S consisting of a node in T and all of its descendants in T. The subtree corresponding to the root node is the entire tree. The subtree corresponding to any other node is called a proper subtree. In this example, tree 2 is a subtree of tree 1. Now, let us have a look at the algorithm which will assist us in finding out if a binary tree is a subtree of binary tree or not. Let us also have sample trees to test our algorithm. We pass the root node of tree1 and tree2 into function is subtree. So t will point to 26 and s will point to 10. Since both are not null, we call the r identical function with t and s. So now in the r identical function, root 1 will point to 26 and root 2 will point to 10. Since root 1's data is not equal to root 2's data, we return false to function is subtree. Now we try left and right subtrees one by one. So first we pass the left child of 26 which is 10 along with s which is 10. Since both are not null, we call the R identical function with t and s. So now root 1 will point to 10 and root 2 will also point to 10. We compare root 1 and root 2's data. Since both are equal, we call for the left child of root 1 and root 2 in R identical function using a call stack. Again, since root's data is equal and not null, we pass the left child of 4 which is null. As both are pointing to null, we return true. Next, we pass the right child of 4 which is 30 in both the trees. So root 1 and root 2 both will point to 30. Since both are equal, we call the left child of 30 which is null. As both the roots are pointing to null, we return true. Next, we pass the right child of 30, which is null. So root 1 and root 2 both will point to null. As both are pointing to null, we return true and finish execution for node 30 as well as node 4. We return true as root, left and right child are both same. Now in the is subtree function, we finish execution and return true as we have found the subtree in tree 2. Now let us see the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of m into n complexity. Here m and n are the number of nodes in the two binary trees. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.